Okay. So as I mentioned there, oh, the, we are here to really engage with you. I'm the chair of the AWE SACO and, uh, and the SACO has been a very, very stable and trying to be really concrete on whatever we want to do in the future. And I'm joined by Milka Moigai and she's based in the UK. So UK in the house, yay. <laughs> and Germans in the house, yeah, in the Switzerland. And I can see also we have members, my old, old our members, if you have not seen all of, all of us. And I hope we also have Holland coming in and uh, all everywhere we had events not long ago. So we are very, very excited to have you here with us. So this will be a continuous thing. So every every year, so uh, don't be worried about, um, uh, about missing this one if you have not had enough of this information you can also have one-to-one -one, which we encourage you a lot uh, if you're in germany contact with the uk milka is there for you so if you're chatting right now if you don't mind you can also write your name and your telephone number because you will be using whatsapp so that we can be able to reach out to you if you want more information from here as we go on, but we'll remind you also later on um, because we also have your email, but it's, it's we prefer if it's better if we, we reach out to you in directly. So let me talk about that. So it's all about the Awe Sako. Uh, as you can see, this has been our logo for some time, and um, we have two of them. So don't get confused. We have one which is blue, purpleish. If you are color, <laughs> color, uh, you have a color, whatever issues. That is, it's purple, and then we have one which is white. So it's up to. So don't be scared if you see different kind of colors every time when you are we are showcasing our products, and then we we are so happy for that. So I will ask um, Milka to get us started with the with the today session, and then I will be coming in as well to give a little bit more. So welcome, Milka. Introduce yourself. Feel at home, and welcome everyone who is joining now. We are recording, and we'll also be able to listen to this after. Welcome, Milka. Thank you very much, Joy, and uh, thank you very much to everyone who has joined us this uh, evening. Uh, we appreciate you taking your time out to just come and hear us out. Um, so today we are here to talk about the SACO, the AWE Diaspora SACO, uh, which was launched actually last year in April, although we registered two years ago, but we did our, uh, our launch last year which was a really great thing for us and we thank God for it. So um, we are here today just to tell you a bit more about the SACO. So as you heard, my name is Milka Moigai. I'm one of the directors of the SACO and uh, I'm also a, a member of Africa Women in Europe, which started in 2008. And uh, there's a lot that we've done together with Joy being the founder. And uh, so we, it, we are a group of women who've come together with one purpose, to empower each other. And then this, this uh, circle has come out from the Africa Women in Europe uh, group for us coming together and seeing what can we do. So this is one of our, our, um, uh, our products, so to speak, or one of the things that we are doing together. And uh, I would encourage all of you to, to, check, out, to check us out a little bit more uh, on the Africa Women in Europe. Uh, website because there's so much you will learn. So today we're here to talk about the SACO and um, we're going to start with what our vision is. So one, our vision really is to drive economic development, to have poverty eradication and job creation by being the most trusted investment and financial solutions provider for Kenyan entrepreneurs. That is our vision as uh, AWE SACO. Okay, Joy, if you can go next. And um, we also have our mission and our mission statement is to mobilize savings, to provide affordable credit and optimize returns through customized products that meet members' needs. So we want to make sure that everybody is involved in this and everyone is able to benefit and to be affordable so that people can actually be able to join us and we are able to mobilize together. As our motto says, together we are strong. We want to make sure that everyone is included. So hence our mission is to make sure it's affordable for everybody. Thank you, Joy. Good. So what are our short-term and long-term visions? 
Our main aim is to partner with SMEs, which are small to medium enterprises within uh, Europe and also in Kenya to help them be able to access uh, funds easily. And hence why we are, um, we are, we are, as a circle, we, we, our, one of our requirements is that you have to be either an entrepreneur or a member of Africa Women in Europe, or you are actually a, a member of Africa Women in Europe in Kenya, and you also have to be Kenyan. We also want to, uh, our another short-term, long-term goal actually is to have um, homes. We want to build homes at affordable prices and be able to sell them to our members or even you know, sell them to other people so that we can be able to increase our um, growth as a circle. And the main short-term objective is really to uh, avail loans at affordable prices to our members, to enable them to build their businesses or even to do personal things. So there are many products we have where you can access loans and we'll be going through them shortly. And so you can understand why it is so important to be a member so that you can be able to access this financial um, provision. So how are we going to achieve our vision? To achieve this vision, AW Circle, we came up with a five-year strategic plan. Because without a plan, then we, we will fail. But with a plan, at least we, we have a guidance and a way forward. So there are five key areas where we identified being very critical pillars for the circle to be able to achieve its vision. And here are some of them. So the first pillar is a financial pillar. And, and this is all in detail in our strategic plan to make sure that financially, the circle is solid and is strong and that um, we are able to be open so that every member knows what is happening. And one of the biggest thing in the financial pillar is having integrity. And this has been well-documented in our bylaws so that everybody is on board on what is happening. We also have a membership pillar because without members, then there's no circle. So members are what make actually make the circle. So we, that's hence why today we are having this training so that at least we can increase our membership because the more we are, the stronger we are, and the more we are able to access and do many things together. Also human resources and management is another pillar because as a circle grows, we need to have um, structures in place so that the management of the whole circle is run smoothly and there are no hiccups and that everybody is able to uh, access um, help whenever it is needed. So human resources is another big uh, pillar that we came up with and also technology and internal processes and risk management pillar. This is to enable us to be able, because we are an so-called e circle we are all in different countries. We need to have the technology in place to make sure that everybody is able to be on board and you're able to access uh, facilities, you're able to access your loans or to apply for loans or even to access uh, how you transact your finances. So we have that in place and we'll be talking a little bit more about um, one of our technology pillars, which is really, really amazing. That is helping us uh, to, to bring the whole circle together and everyone is able to access it um, from their phone and uh, know where you are and also know where the, the circle is. And obviously the corporate governance. And this is a, a very strong pillar because we have the directors who are in place who are able to um, look into the interests of the circle for the members. So we have seven directors at the moment, and we also have three um, supervisory committee who also um, supervise to make sure that what the directors, what has been ag agreed actually in an annual general meeting is followed up correctly and that the directors are also doing what was agreed. So we have a team of three uh, members of the supervisory committee. And so with all these uh, pillars in place, we have now uh, a structure of how to move our circle forward. So this is just part of it. And everything else is in detail and you can access it when you join our memberships. So we looked at some of the core values which would guide us. And these values are set, uh, they're the ones that set the norms that guide the society's operations and reflect its culture and attitude in its relationships with all stakeholders. What do we mean by this? The stakeholders are the people we will do business with, they could be the banks, 
You members are also part of the stakeholders. There, we sometimes have to um, get external uh, professional help in certain areas. So we want to make sure that we use these core values to make sure that our organization is solid and it is well, uh, well managed with a lot of integrity. So we looked at transparency. The board, staff, and members have to be open. We have to be honest. We have to be straightforward in our dealings with each other, as well as external parties. Transparency is one of the key core values because it's very important for every single member to be able to know that what we are talking about is what you will find and what is exactly happening. So the other thing is professionalism. The board and staff shall perform all their duties with uttermost skills and competence, as well as exhibit behaviors and act uh, attributes expected of professionals. They will also seek input from experts in decision making. So obviously we talked about our long-term goal being to buy houses. We are not in the housing profession, so we would need to seek expert help to be able to and, and ensure that we actually make the best decision for the circle and for all the members. Teamwork is another uh, core value and teamwork involves everybody, the members, the and the, and the board of directors. So the management and staff shall build strong relationships with stakeholders and pursue collaborative effort with a view to achieving the fund's objectives in the most effective and efficient way. So we are also looking at making sure that we are not wasteful. We, we have to be effective in all that we do and we're efficient and we are actually being able to save the circle money and bring the best at the table and get the best deals. Integrity is another core value and uh, the management, its members and all staff shall uphold high levels of uprightness, openness, morality and trustworthiness in conducting the society's affairs. Every director is expected to have integrity. Every member is expected to have integrity in, in the way we deal with, with each other and also with a lot of honor and respect. We also set timelines. We don't want to be just being a circle that does not have, um, you know, does not have objectives that with, with certain deadlines so that we can be able to achieve as much as we can. So the society shall endeavor to ensure that it handles all matters within the promised timeframes. So we put the timeframes and we do our best to make sure that they are met so that the circle can advance and to and make sure that we are actually delivering on what we have agreed as an AW circle. And finally, the last uh, core value was respect. And the society shall have due regard for the feelings, the wishes or rights of all its stakeholders. In this regard, it shall observe ethical conduct and the rule of law. That means every one of us is, is, um, has to follow the rules that are set by the AW circle and also by the Ministry of Cooperatives because they do give us um, a, a guideline and we have bylaws. So we have to make sure that we are following the bylaws and we are all working within the, the, the bylaws that are set. And also respect for everybody's feelings. So it's the circle is for members and not only for, it's not for directors. We are all members also. So all of us have to come into an agreement and we do this by having an annual general meeting whereby we are able to talk about where we want to go, what we want to do, and we're able to um, make sure that we achieve as much as we can for the circle. Thank you, Joy. Um, Joy, if you go to the next slide, yeah, thank you. So what are our main objectives? The objectives of which the society is established are to organize and promote the welfare of its members as by the bylaws. Now the bylaws is what guides us. Everything that we need to do as a circle is all well written out in our bylaws. And when you join, you'll be able to read through all the bylaws and see what is regulating us. We also want to promote the economic interests of its members according to the bylaws. That means we want to make sure that the the greater economic benefit is for our members and the way the members want us to run the, the circle. So we all come into an agreement and we are able to meet our objectives together by having a discussion and then moving forward. Okay. So some of the other objectives that we have are to promote 
uh, thrift among its members by affording them an opportunity for accumulating their savings and deposits and create thereby a source of funds from which loans can be given to them exclusively for provident and productive purposes at fair and reasonable rates of interest, thereby enabling them to use and control their money for their mutual benefits. So we want to make sure that you can afford, you can access loans at affordable prices. We also want to ensure personal growth through the introduction of new products and services that will promote the economic base of the members. We also want to ensure progress of members and, so, and the society through continuous education programs on proper use of credit, reduction of poverty, human dignity, and cooperation. So we do run uh, education product programs, sorry, for our members so that we, you can understand about the circle, you can understand about the products we have. And also because we want to, uh, what part of the, of the objectives is to grow SMEs, to help them to develop. So we, this is one of the bigger uh, pictures that we have because we are creating employment for people in Kenya and also giving them the opportunity. People who could not access funds can now access funds easily and develop themselves, which is a really um, a amazing thing. We also want to apply the cooperative principle of cooperation among cooperatives in order to promote members' interests. In furtherance to the objects, the society shall affiliate to the relevant national corporate union and APEC society. So we will cooperate with other organizations to make sure that we are actually getting the best for our members. The key thing for, uh, with our objectives is to make sure that our members are getting the most benefit out of the circle and also other uh, uh, cooperation with other organizations to enable our circle to move forward. Thank you. So who are we targeting? We are targeting Kenyans. You have to be Kenyan. And we are not being biased. It's just because the cooperatives are run by the government and the rules are you have to be a Kenyan citizen. And uh, so our target group is Kenyans who are currently in gainful em employment or business within Europe. And you have to be a member of Africa women in Europe. So we'll be explaining to you a little later how you can become a member if you're not already a member, but you have to be living in Europe and you have to be in employment or in business. So members of Africa, women in Europe, Kenya, previously resident in Europe, who are also engaged in gainful employment and in good standing for not less than a year prior to returning Kenya. So you, you should, uh, some, some of our members have relocated back home. So we don't want to cut them off so they can still join us, but they have to be in employment. So they can also join us as long as they remain being members of Africa Women in Europe. And um, we also have now our branch in Kenya, AWE Kenya. So they have to be a member of that. And also entrepreneurs who are AWE members in Kenya. So any entrepreneur who wants to join the circle, all they need to do is become a member of Africa Women in Europe, and then they can be part of the circle. So those are our target group. So entrepreneurs, Kenyans in diaspora, and also Kenyans who, who returnees, so to speak, who've gone back to Kenya and are also in employment, and they can also join us. So we do consider those uh, group of people. Okay, Joy. Good, so in order to join us, there are a few requirements. The first thing is, as you know, you have to be a member of Africa Women in Europe and uh, you can join the membership, which we'll be showing you. Then the other things that you need is you have to have a Kenyan ID or a Kenyan passport. You also have to have what is called the KRA uh, authorization, which is your PIN, which uh, every uh, Kenyan um, is given by the KRA. So you can, if you don't have it, you can still join us, but then you go ahead and uh, apply for it. And then we, you can be a full member. You will need a passport size of your photograph. You also need to read the constitution, which is, includes our bylaws so that you can understand what are you getting yourself into. And all the bylaw is all written out and is available for you to read. 
We also charge a registration of 20,000 Kenyan shillings, which is non-refundable. Uh, and that is the administration fee. And then after that, um, we charge a minimum, uh, not we charge, uh, there is a minimum payment for Kenya 5,000 shillings, which is your deposit for, for savings. So every month we expect you to save at least 5,000 Kenya shillings. Okay, and then we also want you to buy shares because there is the savings and there's the shares. So we need you to buy some shares currently. We are selling the shares at a thousand Kenya shillings each and uh, the minimum starting shares are five shares. So five shares of uh, at a thousand gives you 5,000 Kenya shillings. And that is the minimum that you can buy. You can add the shares as you go along or uh, even the monthly savings, you can add more than 5,000 shillings. You're not limited to that, but that is the minimum that we um, require you to start with. We also need to know a little bit more about you. Who are you? What do you do? If you're in business, what's your business profile? You know, just a little bit of about yourself. So we just, so that we can know who you are and um, you also must be a member of Africa Women in Europe. It is free to become a member. You just need to go to our website and join the membership and then you can uh, qualify. So these are the minimum requirements for you to be able to register to be a member of the uh, AWE SACO. Thank you. So do you want uh, to take over, Joy? Uh, we can't hear you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank, you. Thank, thank you. you. thank you so much for that. And um, I, and I'm happy that you mentioned about the quite very important points there. So for me, uh, I want to thank you. So those people who are listening right now, keep putting those points in your head. Uh, put your questions also as we continue, so that we can also uh, we can also follow up as we are we are going on. That's something that you would want to do, and then also let us know of any other anything that comes up in your head throughout because it's a lot of information. Maybe you not absorb it at once. Uh, this is quite normal. We also normally expect that quite a lot, but I want to encourage you to put them down on a paper, have a paper writing, and then you can ask the question and go, we go on. So yeah, so uh, so Milka has stated very well about the requirements that she went through all this that you need to, to, to get to know. Probably you're asking yourself, what, what are the benefits now for, for me to join uh, uh, for the Awe circle? So I'm going now more deeper into into what really happens in a circle. So this is gonna be very, very feel like mathematics a little bit, but don't worry, we are not the only one. We're also the same. <laughs> we also learned to, to do these calculations and also work along. And I have to say that circle, the way they are made, they're made in a way that it's a very simple structure. And that, like the way Milka said, there's a constitution and the constitution you go everywhere. Whether here in whether here in 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 um, in Europe, I mean, or in UK or in Kenya, the constitution are really the same. So, so that's something you need to really put to be aware of that the constitution it's ne it's the same as the country. So, if you've ever been in any circle, which most of you people and parents have been in the circle, you've had your parents doing this. Maybe they raised you through circle. You know. We hear a lot of story and that's why we also want to be part of this even from a distance. So that's why I want to encourage you to also, when you hear some vision, some, some information here, you also, ah, I know that from also circle. So and the our that's what products are designed to make you uh, really um, help you to, 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 uh, to make, to meet your demands and promote your financial well-being from occasional needs to long-term goals. So here we are looking at uh, if maybe like we were saying, even if we are supporting the enterprise, the concept of the Awe diaspora is a two-way. So money is creating the, for the diaspora concept. It's, sorry, we always say that 
the money works for you when you're sleeping. So this is what we, happens with the circle. So on you as, as a diaspora, because we mentioned the di entrepreneur, they're the ones who are some, most of the time who need the money. And you as a diaspora, knowing the remittance, you're sending, sending it in a, proper, in a good way. We're going to get the interest rates coming back on us. And through dividends, that's how you gain your percentage. And also, you can also borrow. We don't limit you also only for the entrepreneur. Anyone who is in, in the circle as a member is, it can be able to take loans. So we have low rates up to 1% 1, 1 per month on, on, on loans. And, and you, as you can see, that per month, that's around 12%. So even in Europe, that's why I'm saying most of us are thinking of 12% and generally you have only 2 or 3%. But that's not the whole idea. The idea is that when we are able to come as a circle, we can even regulate the, the percentage that we give. We have that mandate as a circle. What do we want to give our members, especially to, to um, uh, and, 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 and entrepreneur in general? So that's something else you have to put in mind. These are not permanent. Members can also come up and decide we are going to give less to this particular group or that. So right now is what that we have set in our platform right now since when we started the circle. So there's a great interest rate on, on your savings up to up to 7% per annum. So this is what you're talking about. For example, the money we are receiving on our on our on our circle since when we started, it's almost a year. I can tell you very quickly, you see how when you work together, it turns to millions very quickly. So our money does, doesn't stay in the bank. We're already investing in money market funds where we are getting the interest rate that it's even more, it's eight to 9% as we speak right now during COVID. Uh, it was also very on the high note. So we are also investing, the money is not in the bank in a monthly basis or, or three, two to three months, you remove the money every month and put them into different pots, not only one, that we make sure that we maximize this. So we borrow up to, uh, and when it comes to also, when you want to borrow money as an entrepreneur or even an, an, as an individual, it's a very standard, you, you, you're going to be given according to how much you save. Milka told you about the minimum is 5,000. I don't think 5,000 Kenya shillings times three is gonna take you anywhere. I mean, considering with the months that you put, you might have want to put a little bit more, um, as I say, as, as I say, because we, it's going to be calculated three times that money, and then the percentage is going to be calculated how you're going to get the, the, the loan. So this is made basically from our main saving account. So there we have different savings. So we have our main saving, account, which is a must. Everybody has to have that. And then we have different kind of savings where you can add on top on. But the main savings one, and, and as well also de depending on the on their on their uh, on their on our on our proposals and also what we have put the protocols as well for that and is how you're going to get it. So we also have to extend a uh, repayment period for up to 48 months. So extended repayment is very good from circle, not like in banks where you're told perhaps you have to pay to repay from this month. And then uh, we can also be able to be to work around. As I said, the circles are very, very easy to, to according to the members, what they agree, that's what we decide and we, we move forward because you might find sometimes the situation happens and you're not able to pay. Uh, so, and then we go like, okay, this is a, the, the period that we can work around it and then you resume, but it's something that is already on our on our um, on our bylaws and as well I'm going to show you more information where you can read all this is in details. So we target Kenyans and Europeans increasing our market for new members. So that's the benefit of the AWI circle because we are not targeting only Germany or UK or pounds or dollar. No, Kenya shillings is the main language. That's our language and the Kenyan ID. So long as you have an ID, I know in Germany some of us lost our IDs. Uh, but as I say, we, it's, it's, it's something that we are fighting also to make sure that we keep the German ID. There's those people who still have their IDs, they are able to, to also join the board because it's, um, it's very important to be a Kenyan with an ID. The KRA can come up later, but I would, this come when you're getting your dividends because that's when the KRA comes very important towards when you receive your dividends. So it's part of the, of the, of, of the journey of, of, of the circle. So these are basically the, 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 uh, the main thing that you'll have around why you should be joining a circle. But maybe you're asking yourself, so what, what are the products? And as you can see, the list is huge here, right? <laughs> so we have, we have 
brought quite a lot with uh, with our we do have work very parallel with that training so all these things we're giving you we have had trainings for months and months and months preparing documents for all this to make it ready for you so all these are already as ready to start but the first one as i said we have the shares the first two are the must have the rest are additional for yourself so the the shares is where you you put every share shares is on, on only one time payment but we encourage you to put more because that's the worth of the circle. So shares are very sensitive. We, the, it's owned by the circle. So even when you're leaving, you have to sell those shares to someone else or we say help you to sell, but normally it's a work of the members to share, sell the shares to, to somebody else or some of the members. And it's up to you how much you're gonna sell the shares because the shares belongs to you or your next of kin or things like that, as so long as they are members of the circle. So that's something is about the shares and also you get dividends on that. And then you have the main savings where it's 5,000 I mentioned per month, it's around 50 euro, even UK, I don't know how much you spend. So we do have different way of doing it. And then we also have the, the others. The others are additional one. So we have the, uh, uh, the our fixed deposit account where you say, I want to put this fixed. And then we also have the, the calling deposit and our junior for our young children, you can also do that for your children. Also our holiday savings, if you want to save to go on holiday, some of us, not everybody can afford, if you have a family of five or six, you can forget about going on holiday if you don't save. So we can also have that as well. The joint accounts, spouse accounts for our men as well, although we are open for both, but South spouse means two people together. And then we also have the Awe Chama. So if you are a group of, of a Chama, we also have that as well. But I'll go into details as we go on, especially with the Awe Chama savings, because we have noticed there are so many groups that have that. So not everybody have the ID, like in Germany, but if three of them or so, I'll show you how it, you can get all this information. So we also have the credit products as well. So where this is where you get the loans, the, we have the Awe Domo loans, emergency loans, meaning that you can easily get your money uh, within 24 hours, school fees loans, investment loan, invest uh, assets, finance, because don't forget here, we are also talking about the entrepreneur as well who are borrowing the loans. So working capital insurance permit, home improvement, holiday homes, all the way to land, plot, purchase, construction loan, and also other loan products. So it's such a huge, but we are at the moment the most active ones we have right now are the first two. Those are the main ones that are really, really moving at the moment, and the others are additional ones that you would have to add, uh, add on. So future future aspiration for the Awe diaspora circle is transformation of Kenya economy and Af in Africa at large to be the circle Kenyans in Europe collectively invest to generate wealth and at the same time support entrepreneur in Kenya. And, and also collectively invest in different projects in Kenya. So we are not limited, no, because as you said, we are supported entrepreneur. It could be just any uh, different kind of businesses that we want to support and we can be able to, to partner with them to be able to also make profit for the circle, create products that suit our members. Of course, we work with the members. We don't make decisions on our own. This is something that we do on, our, on AGM and we move forward with after the decisions of all members. If the member says no, we don't want, we are happy where we are, we just do the way it said. So strictly from a follow Ministry of Cooperative Regulation to protect members' wealth and interest is something very important because you remember last time, I don't know whether you've been following, SASRA had put, um, we had a SASRA regulator, but right now, uh, according to the last AGM, it was announced that's why we were able to open for new membership to be able to operate under the Ministry of Cooperative. So right now, this is where now you're coming in and all of us will be regulated by the Ministry of Cooperative until we are big enough, because we were just one year old, don't forget in April, and the requirement for SASA were very high. So they were able to work with us and to help us to grow. And as soon as we reach to that level, because we cannot be compared with steamer circles, which I don't know how many years they are, and I don't know <laughs> which one, we will reach there. But that's the whole idea that we were given this chance Otherwise, it was a very tricky situation for us to even get into, into other circles. And what I like about the diaspora circle, it's, uh, and even if you have another circle in Kenya, diaspora circle is working towards our interest. 
And when you have circles on the, on, in Africa, it's not normally for your interest. But of course, your interest is to invest and get the money through. But there are some things that we could tailor to fit us. And that's why we have such kinds of circles that we have right now, the diaspora circle. And I can tell you there are not so many have managed to go into, into such circles at the moment. So why join the circle? Um, basically mandate for the circle is service and credit, as I mentioned, uh, the, their built and values, they, as, you, as Milka explained there, with, and to encourage uh, cooperation and, uh, and working with the empowerment and solidarity rather than just profits, you know? So we have a goal, we have a community goal for ours is to make sure that we support the entrepreneur because we believe that's the only way we have to stop aid we have to go trade and helping our women to go into, to start businesses. And, um, and, and I've, according to also some of you who know me, I work with women in business and I can tell you they are very good investors uh, they, they, and good loan takers. They always pay back. And you also know Mary go around is stable banking, all that. It's very, they are very good with that. Once they take uh, something, they, they have to be, they, they really support. And anyway, we have to do a lot of due diligence before even engaging with any uh, any of the uh, uh, businesses. So the basic mandate, as I mentioned, mobilizing savings deposits, that's what we need to be doing, uh, providing diversity financial products and services, maximizing return for the shareholders, uh, vehicle of investment, partner for wealth creation. I love the last one because we all want to make money, right? <laughs> that's the whole idea here. So, and that's why we are working hard towards that, but we can only make it when we are many. So that is so important for you to know that we need to have the numbers. The numbers is everything. A saving mobilization is something that you want to promote, saving culture. Circles requires member to save every month. The very important one, that statement, because we have members who join and then they stop for paying. Please don't do that to us because that will make even be removed from the circle. We are having even rules for such. Uh, dormant, dormant members are not the most encouraged person in the circle because it drains the circle to grow and to achieve our goals. So regular payments are done and we are very flexible. If you feel 50 euro like me, I'm the kind of person I can't remember all the time saying 50 euro, you can decide to do it at six months, you can decide to do it at one year and then you're, you're, and, or add up a little bit as you want. So we are flexible in terms of how you want to do your payments. So members are able to access loans um, at a fair and reasonable interest rates. So that's the, the, the good thing about joining a circle is if you want to borrow loans, that's very important. And of course, don't forget the return on investment. Circle gives dividends annually to their members and shareholders. Right now, we are just one year. So the first few years, as you know, in any business, it needs to grow. That's why you're seeing the admission fee is very high, 20,000. Uh, Kenya shillings. Normally, if you look with the normal circles, they are real less because when you start, we need that capital. We don't spend the money you save. The money that sustain the circle payments of 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 the apps and 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 the and a lot of things that work. Even like this platform, Zoom, so many things, small small things. Even some of the bank payments that we have that we because we work very closely with cooperative a bank. That's our bank that of our choice, and we are we 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 have a lot of. Engagement. So when you think about um, the expenses of it, so this is going to change as soon as the circle kick off, so that the, the admission fee will be less and we'll go to shares. So the shares will not be 1000. So I can promise you that this is, I think, this year if we do well, the shares will increase. So if I were you and joining as a member, I'll buy more shares now. And if you know what shares do, in shares, you buy when they're cheap and, when, and, and then you sell when they're high. So sometimes it's also when you look at the concept of of, of shares, but ours as circle, it means the more shares you have, the more higher dividends you get. So that's why I, it's very important to, if you are new and you're joining now, buy as many shares as possible. Right now, we are going to be increasing the shares definitely. We had a delay because of the issues of the SASRA trying to get back the circle into the feed, but now once we are ready, we'll be, we'll be going to increase the shares and reduce the registration fee to increase the number of people coming in as well. So the more the circle profits, the more you save and the higher the dividends you get at the end of the year. So this is a, a, a give in and get out. And as I said, our money don't stay in the bank. So they are already 
already gaining profit as they are going, as they are, they're coming in into the account. So that's something that um, is very important to, for, for the basic understanding of, of, of the benefits of circles and the investment opportunities from the affordable loans members can uh, and undertake various uh, investment. Circles also have different categories of investment which they can undertake on behalf of members from uh, any ideal cash not being uh, used, uh, having no idle cash not being used on loans. So, so this is quite a lot of circles. You go into like those schema circles, so people have advanced, they're just not on those two things you saw as having there. They're through the whole list, they even have credit card and accounts, bank accounts where you can even use it as a, con a way to transfer money. Through a circle. So it's quite advanced. So many things circles can develop into different ways as they're going according to the members' needs, of course, and enhance our country stability through the increased currency flow. I can tell you circles are booming in the continent. Like now, I'm working with other countries. They're all calling me and asking me what's this circle. We want to know how circle work and we want to integrate South Africa and all that. It's actually much better off and even have the banks that we see on daily basis. And of course, creating job creation when we, we empower entrepreneur, we go to, to different. So at the status, probably you're asking yourself, so fine, where are you right now? So as Milka said, we are seven of us committee members. Uh, they, this goes from the, from the chair, I'm the chair lady. We have the vice chair, we have the treasurer, we have the secretary, and we have uh, uh, three board member where we have Milka and two others there who are helping us. And we are not all of us in the diaspora. As I said, we have entrepreneur, our treasurer and the secretary, they are all in. Uh, actually, we have three, three uh, of our board members are in Kenya and, uh, be two in UK, two in Germany. <laughs> so we need to, we are very diverse in that direction. And of course, with our members, also it goes the same way as our, as we can. Yeah, we have some members in Kenya, have a member in, in UK and Germany as well. So uh, this is the area. And then we have invested, as mentioned before, up in the circle money market fund. And then the other part that Milka also mentioned is the app. So we have already invested with a little membership that you have seen there. That we are able to, we are able to invest and we have an app that where you can because our as as one of the goals that you are told our value is to be transparency so we need you to see your money where it's going so the more you are not sending the less you see on your app and the one who is sending more can see where it's going and you see it's done on a monthly basis so we have a system how we do that and um, I'll be going straight to the website to give you an idea how you can, how all this is done. So the app is a, it's from Quora, just to go back on that point, we have Quora, Quora, every one of us have the app already was downloaded on them. It's quite a very easy tool that you can use for your, for, for really monitoring yourself. And very soon we'll be able to even do payments through. Right now you can do through cooperative, but right, not most of our members have M-Pesa, but if you have M-Pesa and, um, and, the, and the bank account with the cooperative, you are able to do the transaction directly, but we did not activate that because most of us don't. So it's so important to have your number there. Of course, I'm not gonna show you mine, but uh, you can only see the beginning, how the app looks like. But it's a very, very friendly user uh, app that is there, that you can see how your money comes in and out. And we're very excited that we finally found it because we are all digital people. It was one of the requirement of Sasa. We still took it on board because it also helps us. Also for the, for the we can have all the reports that we need for, 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 for auditing and all for, the, for, for any question that we need for credit. And it matters if you need credit, you'll also be able to see whether you are able, eligible to even borrow money from the, the same app. So we do trainings on this as well. So we'll be coming, once you join us again, we have trainings for you to understand the app, how it works as part of the of agreement with the app uh, organization so that everybody knows how to use it maximally and also to even, you can request loan yourself from the app. So this is something that has been there already. So um, you're asking yourself how are we, how to start a registration, of course, uh, registration to, to join our, you all know the first step is to be a member. I don't know whether you have ever visited our website. Milka, just share with them the website link as well on the WhatsApp. Um, I mean, not on the WhatsApp, on the, <clears throat> on the chat. So our, to be a member is for free. 
and you, these are different platforms, the Africa Women in Europe in Trade. Once you go Europe, sorry, you go there, you're going to be asked to join to a member, you'll be taken to a website called NING website. The NING website is when you register, we ask a few things to come and then we we'll check whether you qualify and then we approve. Once you approve, then you're already a member. That's all. We're not going to ask even a penny for that for now. But then after that, that's when you go to the website. So I'm going to take you now straight to our website <clears throat> so that you have an idea of the Always Circle website, how to really, uh, because I think it's always good to show the practical way of how, uh, how to, to manage this. Uh, just one second. So that we, we, we are able, when you go there, you don't get lost. So I'm always happy to share you with you <clears throat> a step-by-step -step how, <clears throat> how to join the circle. Okay. So the circle, as you can, our circle is a very colorful one. And we, I don't think I ever have anything that is not colorful. <laughs> Um, we love the colors. The purple you see behind is the purple you see down there as well. So that's the Awe, that's our platform, the Awe Diaspora Circle. So the one that Milka sent you is the Awe website where we have everything. These two are completely different. Let's get ourselves clear. Awe Circle is managed by its member, not by Joy and not by Awe. <laughs> it's just the name. It's a purely an institution registered in Kenya. And we have a certificate with us. I wish I could show you because I still have the constitution. The constitution is always like our Bible. We always have it here. And I ask you all of you to keep your constitution as a, your Bible because it's so important to have all these things every close to you as well. But for us, we need it for all of the information that you can we can be able to show you. But the certificate is not here today, but yes. So we have a registration certificate and actually it's a mandate to show you all this. So if you can also go to our website, the most important place for you is the resources. I, I hope you can see this top part here, resources. Resources is where you get most of our documents, right? So the constitution, I told you when you come in, even before even you start thinking to register, I will need you to go to the resource so, so, and then go look for them for the, uh, the constitution. The constitution is exactly the way we were given. As you can see, it's a, it's a document given to us on the 2020, July was our official one, but we started off here. And it's a document you need to read through. It's not long and it's not complicated, it's a very fine English, but it gives you an idea what you're getting yourself into. And you can see there as we're telling you what, who should join to qualify to our membership. It's all in the same day. I'm telling you this word by word, it's checked even with the grammar and everything before it's released. And um, so this document is for you. And I, I'm just going quickly through so that to show you that it's a confirmed document because it's already signed by all the directors. And this is the, as you can see, it doesn't look like the rest. This is the document that is officially was signed by us but in the, and in the vice chair, the secretary, and you also have the, the back then, the, the commissioner of the cooperative, Mr. Jangobe. So this was something that we did. And uh, it's important for you to read this concern. It's a public document. So don't be surprised that it's on our website. It's nothing to hide. Everybody who have a circle has to have it here. Uh, it's a public document to show that. And also the certificate is also, um, also together with it. And I think, I've, I think I didn't go far down, but you'll see the certificate is also part of the document. If I'm not so wrong, if it's not here, then I'll open it on the other one. But we do have the certificate also on the document here as well. So, and these are also policies, but uh, uh, the last document here is something I want you to just keep in your mind. Once you become a member, Whenever you do the payments, because of the system we have right now, it's a bit difficult. Keep this number be link because this link you'll always need it to tell us whenever you send the money uh, to fill in what you have sent and what you so that we can align them. Because there are different ways of sending money and some different methods are easier, some of them are not. We don't limit you, but there are those we prefer because it makes our life easier. But because of that, we use the form, but through the technology we are having, this will be reduced in the future. So the first thing first, 
constitution, where to get it, the resources here. And it's also duplicated everywhere you go, but that's the best place to find the constitution. But you'll see it most of the time we repeated everywhere because it's so important for everyone to read it. So as you have heard, I showed you of the savings and the credit loan. So I will, I will let you go read this, but I want to come to this part here. This part is a step-by-step -step that you need to follow to join the AWE circle. So the first time thing I told you to go to the website, when you go here, we'll still take you to join to the website as well. And if you go here up to join AWE today, it's still the same platform. You'll be taken to Ning where you register to be a member where we will, uh, after that, we will confirm as well. So after that, we have the second uh, filter where we, we, you will register. This form, and I'll click it so that we go through, it is a very simple form. All we need is to know whether you're Kenya, and if you're Kenya, do you have the ID? And we need your telephone number so that we can contact you. Some of the emails, people don't get them. And, um, and sometimes why we use it, because you know, our is Africa, so some people think it's also for other countries. We also have other people like Nigeria and all that coming. So it helps us to filter to tell people, no, this is only for Kenya. No, you need an ID. And if there's any other issue, we can also check here. Instead of wasting your time too much, then we can tell you, you qualify, you don't qualify. So here, we also need you to send us a little bit about yourself. So what I'm asking here is you can even write on a word and send it to me, something. It doesn't have to be your CV. We just want to know what you do as well. Uh, so you can also write here as well. Tell us about yourself, anything, uh, who you are and what you do. But we need a little bit of more information to know if you're going to be a committed person in terms of it. But we believe all our circles are there. But we, some of the things that we get here, these are public form. You don't know who some we get all sorts of crazy people filling forms just to irritate. So this is something that we 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 use as our first filter. So you'll get a confirmation once from that. We will send you a confirmation with a number. So the number it will be a registration number to help you to go register the final form, the official form that you need to fill, which you don't get it here and you'll not get it here as well. So what you do is once you fill this form, we'll send you an email. Once we qualify, we send you an email. You have qualified. We use this number to fill the application a membership form. And then we'll give you the link of the membership form where you need to fill in all the details about yourself, next of kin, do all the payments, and uh, the payments are very important because uh, it, the, the form is almost similar to, to, to the form I, sh I wanted to show you here with the, with the um, uh, how to, to do your payments because the payments, uh, we have different options. Some people want to do bank to bank, which is okay, uh, but don't forget banks to banks in Kenya charge. It's not like here in Europe. So you'll be charged fees. So if you are okay with that, that's fine. You can put a standing order, you'll still be charged. I mean, Kenya, they like charging, charging, I don't know until where, so <laughs> it comes off bugs. So, but you also give other people option or online transfer. These are the most preferred people by, uh, by, 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 uh, by using different, we have an agreement like TapTap, -tap, Remitly, Wide Remit. So TapTap, -tap, for example, is one of our favorite. And um, if you use TapTap -tap for a new person, you get a, a, a discounted like 10, they give us a 10 euro discount, which we, we also put it here as well, so that you see you can maximize use it if you have ever never used TapTap. -tap. Uh, why we use TapTap? -tap? Because on our accounts, when we receive your money, we see your name. It comes with your name on the bank. So don't forget you're not sending, you're sending it direct to our bank. So our bank details are all here. And when you're re the registration form has a similar concept. So you, you, uh, you go to the bank uh, and we have all the information you need here, SWIFT code, whatever you need, fill it in from the tap tap or whatever word limit or the bank, all the information you need are all there. We also have, they also have um, a pay bill number as well. So you can also use that as well. So this is something that you can follow up with here. We have the, the pay bill. If you're using M-Pesa, 
just our pay bill for the bank, the cooperative bank has the same. We haven't owned our own pay, uh, pay bill yet because of the fees that are included in around that M-Pesa. So M-Pesa is not our favorite uh, <laughs> user because when you use M-Pesa, there are some fees that we are charged. And if we are charged fees, we're gonna uh, forward them to you. So we prefer if you use other method where you pay your own fees when you receive them. But use pay bill, direct pay bill. Uh, we don't have M-Pesa number. So use pay bill. Pay bill is fine, will not be charged, but I'm talking about the M-Pesa. If you send, if a bank has an M-Pesa, we don't have an M-Pesa line. So we are not using any mobile payment in terms of number. So it's bank only. That's only our reciprocatory for our money in the bank. So, and then you'll also have this similar kind of a form. We need you to put your name, your ID number. Don't forget now you're a member. This is, the, but the other one, when you're starting, you'll be asked the number that I, I gave you to call, that was confirmed to be registered. And that's the number you put here. But for, for regular payers, as I told you, every month you have to come and do it. You put your membership number so that we can align in the worst case with your money if you use different kind of forms and we know that this money was sent by this person. So we need to, to, to see which was that money then and you put there what you send it for. Did you buy for shares? Did you buy for, for, for your savings? Or are you planning to increase your savings again or anything you can write there then we know what, how we can respond from our side. And then we, you will tell us which method you've used so that we can be able to trace it. It's a bit tedious, but we are hoping very soon with the app it will help us to solve those problems as well. So I wanted to go through this, but this, this is a similar form you'll have on when you're re registering as a member. So I wanted you to, to also mention. So those are the three steps, not to confuse you, three steps, as I mentioned, the first one, register our website as a member. After that, Come to the to this back to the to, to this form to the this website and register put registration form. I would put do both of them at the same time. So don't wait for me to approve or anything. Just go ahead and register. Uh, normally it, we take a whole week before we register, but the circle we are very prominent. Three three days after registration, we have to come back to to you, and if it's not including the weekends to keep you info, information and, and give you the next steps. So, and then the membership form, you become a member also in the two days, you're gonna be told the next step. After that, then you start payment. So once you do all the payments, put all, make a screenshot, there's a space to put those photos when you join as a member as well. There's a place we have for the documents to be put in there, your IDs, your everything, we have a receipt story a, a place that you is a safe for us and for your documents to be put there and for your next of kin don't forget if you have your next of kin and you want to put your husbands who are German please let them know it's a secured place as well but um they have to give you the confirmation to do this as well so be uh, aware of that that we need these documents not for ourselves but it's mandatory of the circles so that anything happens to you we know where how to follow it up okay so that's the three steps I wanted to mention there. And then uh, something is I also wanted to go back to them, to, to, to Chamas. There are Chamas or something that I wanted to get. take your time, look at all these options out here. And every in every savings or loans, we do have already um, uh, uh, all our information, the policies. Our policies are already done. So these policies, uh, you can download them and read them quietly. So if you're in a chama, for example, a group of women and you, you want to come and not all of you have a Kenyan ID. So as you can see, these are chama savings that are with, with drawable deposit accounts that targets women, members with group savings, com, uh, commonly known as Kenyan, as chama. The members of the group need to be an AWESAC one. Um, the members of the group need to be AWESAC provided one third of the group members are always a co-member. So the group must have at least one third of the members who are always a co-members. And then a group must have at least three uh, signatory at the account. So have a look at this, all this, and see how you can, if you have a circle, if you prefer to come a circle, because 
especially if in Germany we have the situation of IDs. If you have one third of you with the IDs, we can already incorporate you in the circle as well. So this is something I also wanted to put out there. So um, yeah, so I think that was it for now. So if there is any question, this is a time for you. We didn't want to spend most of the time giving you too much information, but showing you using your eyes. And I hope, I think we are very visual people. So it's, we want to see everything. So that's what we are having. Unless something else I miss, Milka, I think that uh, was. Yeah, you have really, really covered it well. The only thing probably I could add is just to, we keep talking about shares and savings, just to clarify for you what we're talking about um shares is what with 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 shares you cannot borrow from your shares the shares that you buy you're actually investing into the circle so you will get dividends and dividends is when the profit comes you will get a share of the profit according to the shares number of shares that you have hence why it's so important to buy the shares especially as Joy mentioned them, now that they are cheap, because they are cheap because we are starting. But as soon as we kick off, the shares, the share value will actually go high. So the same share you are buying at a thousand, you will be buying it at five thousand Kenya shillings. So it is good to in to to take advantage now and buy as many shares as you can, and that is really up to you. The only minimum we require you should have is five. But that is where the, the money is being invested. She talked about money market funds, and that is the money we are putting in the, in actually in, 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 in the investment. The savings is where you can actually borrow up to three times. So if, for example, if I have saved 5,000 Kenya shillings, I can easily borrow 15,000 shillings. So if you want to borrow more money, you also have to have put in more money in your savings. So we give you a minimum of 5,000 every month. That's because we, 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 we want to encourage you. However, we, we, we strongly suggest to you that use your own, um, you know, your own discretion, but put in more money in the savings because you will be able to borrow more. And even when, when the, the, the profits come, you will get more. So this is the two difference. The shares are non-withdrawable but they are transferable, okay? If for example, you became a member and you decided I want to go and leave, I want to um, leave the circle for whatever reason, you will get all your savings, but your, your shares, you would have to sell them on to somebody else. These are not rules we have made up. These are the rules from the cooperative, Ministry of Cooperative. They're the ones who guide us. Uh, just like banks here are, are regulated by, uh, in UK, it's called Financial Conduct Authority. I'm sure in Germany, you have the financial uh, regulators for banks. The Ministry of Cooperatives are the ones who are regulating us, and these are the rules that they have set. So the shares, you would have to either sell them to another member or transfer them to, to like she said, your, your next of kin or somebody. But th that those ones we cannot withdraw, and those are rules. So they are two very different things. So it's important to understand how are the shares working for you, what is the importance of shares, and also the savings. What are the savings doing for you? And as she said about the admin fee, it's very important because all the trainings that we're able to get, all the external things that we have to outsource, they come from the administration money that we give. And that is a one-time fee just for you to know. You don't pay administration every single time. You only pay administration one time when you're joining and that's it. So the rest of the things that you just need to pay will be the shares and the savings. So I hope this is clear, but I'll, as Joy has said, we open the floor to you. Any questions you have, uh, we are more than happy to answer them. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. So you're allowed to raise the hands up, but I'm going to stop uh, right now, uh, stop recording.